All right, guys, good morning. Coda Boy 32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting in the Freedom Studio. And in front of me, I've got the EP Innovations and Needler system. And we're going to be doing a review on this guy here a little bit later on. I've got some perfectly trimmed and ready to go brass. So we're going to do some annealing on this thing because right now, well, ladies and gentlemen, brass and any kind of reloading component is most important. You want it to last a long time. All right, what are we doing here? We're talking about HR8 and HR1446. Now those are the two uh, bills that are going up and I bet you $100. It's either going to be this evening or it's going to be probably tomorrow that's going to go in to the House for a vote. Now, as you know, the House, uh, they have about a five or six uh, vote advantage for the uh, other guys over there who are the anti-loving uh, freedom people who want to turn this world and this country into a communist state. Uh, what I believe is that we right now have a Congress that is unchecked. And not that they're unchecked because, hey, listen, we, the Republicans, had our day. But yet what, that, what the difference is, is that we did not throw these incredibly ridiculous uh, bills up spending billions and billions of dollars on nothing uh, that has anything to do with the COVID-19. Now, the only saving grace, and I'm hoping that they do this, because it's going to vote. They're going to vote on this big old $1.9 billion stimulus package, is that some of these little pork belly projects that they have in there may create jobs. But who knows? They'll probably go ahead and steer those away because the EPA says something bad or something else, or they can't dig a tunnel because there's a, a frog that's endangered. So they won't be able to do that. And we can't do that, you know? So anyway, yeah, unchecked Congress. The only saving grace that I think that we have when it comes to HR 8 and 1446, which I think will come up to a vote today, is that there are enough people whose constituents have to speak up and tell their individual representatives that they are 2A folks. And in these areas, they are 2A. But I feel like these Congress people who are Democrats are too terrified and scared of Nancy Pelosi and the power that she wields. It's disgusting. I don't understand how in the world this woman is still in power with the, the incredible, uh, let's just say, She's out of control. They are out of control. And they don't give a crap about me or you or our rights because they feel like they can do whatever they want. And again, the only saving grace that we have, ladies and gentlemen, is that there are enough representatives out there who constituents, even though they're Democrats, they do like their guns. And they do like the Second Amendment. And they do like their freedoms. Now, the problem with HR 8 and 1446, if you're not familiar with that, is this a universal background check, and another one is a, what they call it, they're closing the Charleston loophole. These little bills right here, they're small in comparison to, say, 127, which uh, Sheila Jackson Lee and that other jackass out there in Houston are trying to push forward. These are the ones that will chip away at our freedoms one piece at a time, if you understand this. There's going to be people out there, well, I just don't see that there's a problem or that's reasonable. Universal background checks on everything other than, well, I don't know, your wife, your son, your daughter, your brother. You know, they're, those seem reasonable to people. And that's the scary part. Well, it's just the start. And if we allow them to do that, ladies and gentlemen, they don't have a problem in going at the next level. And that is exactly what they want to do. Now, what's going to happen? This is my bet. We're going to vote on it this evening. Uh, the House will pass it. Uh, it'll be a party line vote. Uh, I, if not, the only saving grace, like I said, is that there's going to be some congressmen out there who are not afraid of Nancy Pelosi and putting her little deal together, and they'll vote no. Uh, there are several of them out there. It may not even pass the House, but if it does, it has to go to the Senate. Is it going to pass the Senate? I don't think it'll pass the Senate. <clears throat> I don't think it will. There are enough people out there, Joe Manchin, hope to God he sees the right way, uh, that this is an infringement on our right. But what you have out there are a couple rhinos who think, well, this is reasonable. Again, we get into that word reasonable. What is reasonable, ladies and gentlemen? It's just a little bit. It's just a little here, just a little there. 
Sounds like a song. Uh, what was that one? A little bit of it, 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 a little bit of it, it, it. You get my drift. But it's pretty disgusting what these people are getting ready to do. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with HR8 and uh, 1446. But I will tell you this, there's this thing called, I shall not comply. And I will not allow our government to turn me into a criminal, period. But if I have to be one, I shall. It's Good Boy 32. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already done so. Let me know what your thoughts are down below about this whole situation. Rhinos and people who think that sensible things and common sense, it's all common sense when you're the only people who are in power. It's your common sense because you're the only thing, the only thing you have in common is that, well, you're not on our side. Let's go to Boy32. Again, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. <clears throat> God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. This freedom's not free. We're still working on some things here, but I can't wait to test this guy out, show you how it works. We're taking the, uh, the Ultimate PCC out today and uh, going to test run that thing. I had to make some adjustments. I think the uh, my bullets were too short overall length to go ahead and work on that thing. So we're going to chrono that bad boy, test it out, and have a lot of fun. That's it. I'm Coda Boy 32 God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedom because freedom is not freedom. Talk about the men and women in uniform who will fight and stand for our rights as it was written by our founding fathers in our Bill of Rights and our Constitution. I'm KB32, and I'm out of here. Y'all be good.